Hi, my name is Molly and I work at Gold Systems on the Aquam support team. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import your field and lab data. I will be using the import configuration built for the Skyline mine as an example, but know if you're importing data for a different mine, the order of operations will be exactly the same. You'll just choose a different import configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over import and I'll click results and activities. I'll choose my import configuration by clicking the drop down. I'm going to navigate to the one I want. I have access to a lot. Your list will look different. Here it is. UT OGM field and lab data dash skyline. It's set up in the import configuration to import a CSV file. If this ever changes, you can always change to an Excel file or a text file. This gives you a heads up. Note, there are no header rows defined by your import configuration. So the first row of your file will be imported as data. So keep that in mind. Make sure you don't have a header row in your file. Here, are your generated values. These are values that aren't necessarily in the data set, but we want them to be associated with the data. So for example, you might not have a column that lists out your organization ID for each result, but obviously we want those results to be associated with your organization ID. That's what the generated values are for. Here, this just lets you know QC checking is not in place for this organization. You can jump to review QC parameters and thresholds or change organization preferences. Here you have the option to choose what type of data you're importing. Are they new activities, not in Aquams? Are they existing activities already in Aquams? Or does this file contain new and existing activities? Generally, you're keeping the default, you're importing new activities only, not in Aquams. So I'll keep the default, although this data has already been migrated into Aquams, so you'll see we'll get risk of overriding data errors. Here in this section, it says if the import file is free of errors and warnings, let me review my data set in the staging area before migrating. I would never change that default. I wouldn't automatically migrate the data into Aquams, even if the file is free of errors and warnings. We always want to do a result count check, an activity count check, make sure the import configuration is reading the file correctly and getting all the data. You also have the capability to batch, proce batch process in Aquams. Today I just have a single file to import, but know if you have a batch of files which use the same import configuration and generated values above, you could place them all in a single zip file. They have to be in a compressed zip file. Choose that zip file and you can click import data. Just make sure they use the same import configuration and generated values. So I'll go ahead and choose my file. Click open, click import data. I get a message that the data set is importing. You can always navigate away from this and do other things in Aquams and you'll see you get this status bar right up here. So we'll wait to see that it is imported and then click back into it. You get a message that the import failed. So here is our message, step one of three. The data set has been imported, but there are errors that need to be resolved. And then the data set needs to be migrated. If you migrate before resolving all errors, then only the valid records will be included. So for example, if I clicked migrate right now, only four activities would be migrated. A data set also only becomes permanent after it has been migrated. So right now, just think of it as a copy of your Excel file. It's not in Aquams yet until you hit migrate. So our issue is we got risk of overriding data errors, which is what I expected since I had a feeling this file had already been imported and migrated into Aquams. Let's us know that 92 of these activities look like they exist in Aquams. I'm not entirely sure why it 
thinks four are new. Um, it could be possible that this file was updated with four new activities since it's been imported. Uh, that might just be something you want to look into if this activity truly is new or if that activity, those activities are truly existing in Occlums. But I can't resolve these errors. Um, some errors you can resolve online in Occlums. So an example of those are required value missing or domain value invalid errors. A lot of errors you can resolve right in Occlums. Whereas this error is letting me know, hey, it looks like this data already exists in Occlums. Um, so maybe I don't need to import this file. But again, caveat is it's interesting that it thinks four activities don't exist in Occlums. That's something I would look into further. But for our purposes, just know that this is kind of where you get the message of where to go from here. This gives you your imported records, uh, so the total activity, total result, the amount that are valid, the amount that are new, the amount that are existing. And then here, if you had any errors, is where they would be. In this case, we have risk of overriding data errors. But you might in the future have required value missing errors that you can resolve right in Occlums or domain value invalid errors that you can also resolve right in Occlums. But let's say for demonstration purposes that I was able to resolve all the errors, this would go ahead and turn yellow and it would say errors are resolved or data set is ready to be migrated. It would then say step two of three completed, uh, that the errors have been resolved and now the data set needs to be migrated. What you would do then is there would be a button after you've resolved errors that would show up between delete and migrate that says revalidate changes. You would click that and then once it's refreshed your valid record count, because that's what the revalidate changes is doing, is refreshing that valid record count, then you would go ahead and click migrate after revalidating the changes. So that is how to import your field and lab data. Um, this file isn't a perfect example just because it looks like some of it's already existing in Occlums, um, but that is the general flow of things. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us.